Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Marlon. I'm here with my teammates, Steven and Vaishnav. And we were working on our, our project was Where's the Bus Win? And we had the opportunity to work with the Jackson Area Transit Authority. So the problem that we were faced with was that there's a lack of easily accessible information on the status of the bus service. So when we were first working with our clients, we were able to go to different bus shelters and go to the transit center. And we noticed that there wasn't that much information on bus routes and that there was a brochure, but it was behind the desk and, it, and you had to pay also pay for it. We were also able to ride the bus and ask people questions on, on how, what they thought the issues were with riding the bus. So the many people that ride the bus, they're very familiar with the current bus routes as well as where, when the bus starts and where to go. But their issues were when there were delays as well as when there were cancellations and route changes. So when these things occurred, many people would call the transit center, and when this would happen, they would be overloaded with phone calls as, and so that was also another issue. So to address this, we came up with two deliverables. The first of these deliverables is route signage to be located in the bus shelters as well as bus stops. Um, the key to this is the information is designed to be as visible as possible as from a distance. Um, this proves this makes it an effective information tool since you can see it and get a sense for where this bus route would take you when it runs and because they run on a hub and spoke model that runs consistently about every 30 minutes we can also estimate about when the bus will reach this given bus stop so you also get a good sense of when's a good time to come back to the bus stop to try to catch the bus this also makes a good marketing tool because then if you see a bus shelter you'll see a humongous poster that we will have out there that you can see it's like 22 inches by 32 inches and so you can see it from a distance very easily and know that there's a bus stop here and you can see the information you need on it. Um, we've also got some points of interest that are, uh, we focus on locate, adding um, schools and parks as well as medical facilities, places that are probably gonna be much more key to transit riders and also places that are gonna be more static and less susceptible to change. The other deliverable we have is a website that's oriented around this same t information but it also adds in the ability for you did for JT to dispatch route updates as well as route alerts. So if there is, let's say, another polar vortex comes in and delays the buses, they can easily say, buses delayed due to polar vortex, expect X amount of minute delays. Or if, let's say, a bus route has changed due to construction, they can put an alert saying, this route has changed, uh, bus stop relocated to here. Um, they're planning on switching to a gov delivery mechanism, which is a cloud communications tool. So that can dispatch easily to this website as well as to text messaging, social media, and et cetera. So this is also designed to be responsive. We noticed that there were a lot of people that had smartphones. So because a responsive design uh, makes it easier for you to access on a smartphone, this also reduces the effort needed to develop separate apps because then you come into the problem of not everyone has a smartphone and not everyone has the same smartphone platform, which would increase the resources required. And so these are the two key deliverables that we came up with, all designed to make it easier for writers to understand where and when the buses run. Uh, we'd like to thank our partner, Oliver, as well as everyone else over at GATA. And yep, any questions?